Welcome. NOAA has just released its March 2019 Global Climate Report, and this video is a summary of that report. Well, let's break down the temperatures for March of 2019 by area. Overall, globally, it was the second warmest March on record, with a temperature anomaly that was 1.06 degrees centigrade above the 20th century average. Looking at the land and ocean separately, the land was 1.92 degrees centigrade above the 20th century average, and the ocean was 0 0.73 degrees centigrade above the 20th century average. The Northern Hemisphere was second again at plus 0.128 degrees centigrade above the 20th century average, and the Southern Hemisphere at plus 0 0.81 degrees centigrade above the 20th century average. Well, let's map out where these temperature differences occur to make March of 2019 the second warmest March on record. Now, there was one area of very cold weather across the northern tier states of the United States. However, the, to more than compensate for that, there were two areas of exceedingly high temperatures across Alaska and northern Canada and in Siberia. We also had warm weather in southern Africa and in Australia. Lastly, we have a well-formed El Nino off the west coast of South America. Well, the question we're asking ourselves is, did March set any high or low temperature records? And to do that, we must look at what is called the percentiles map. Now, this is relatively simple. They divide all the measurements into five equal categories. If something's within 10% of average temperature, they show white on this map. Something 20% cooler than that is light blue. Something that's 40% cooler than average is shown as a slightly darker blue. On the other side, we have a light red shows 20% above average. The slightly darker red shows something that is 40% above average. Record cold is shown by a very deep blue. Record warm is shown by a very deep red. And as you can see from this plot, there are no record cold temperatures set at any of these pixels. Yet there are 92 pixels on this plot that show record high temperatures. Now this represents an increase of 0.2 degrees centigrade over March of 2018. We can look at this another way by comparing the number of temperature extreme records set in the month. In March, there were 4,191 record highs compared with only 1,509 record lows. That's a ratio of 2.7 to 1. Year to date, we've had 19,254 record highs compared with 16,096 record lows. Then the ratio there is 1.2 to 1. So in both categories, we have an indication that again, we have a warming world. Here I've added 2019 to the matrix that I've been building over the last six years. As you can see, it's already outpacing both 2018 and 2014 in the sweepstakes. It seems to be rivaling 2017, which means by the end of this year, 2019 could become the third warmest year on record, though I think it's more likely to become the fourth warmest. But only time will tell, and we'll have to see how this El Nino develops throughout the rest of the year. Now let's take a look at the upper atmosphere. There are two main groups that do this, the University of Alabama Huntsville and Remote Sensing Systems. For the lower troposphere, which has an average altitude of about four kilometers, UAH found it was the fifth warmest with a positive temperature differential of 0.34 degrees centigrade. RSS, on the other hand, found it was the third warmest with a temperature differential of 0.54 degrees centigrade. The average trend for the two groups was 0 0.16 degrees centigrade per decade, which shows an overall warming over the last 40 years of 0.6 degrees centigrade. The mid troposphere, on the other hand, which is an altitude of approximately seven kilometers, UAH found it was the sixth warmest with a temperature differential of 0.24 degrees centigrade. A RSS found it was the fifth warmest with a temperature differential of 0.33 degrees centigrade. And they found that the average trend over that period was 0.1 degrees centigrade per decade, which would indicate that that layer of the atmosphere is worn by 0.4 degrees centigrade in the last 40 years. The stratosphere, on the other hand, is cooling. The average altitude here is about 17 kilometers. UAH found it was the fifth coolest measurement on record with a temperature differential of minus 0.48 degrees centigrade. RSS found it was the sixth coolest with a temperature differential of minus 
0.38 degrees centigrade. The overall trend is an average of minus 0.24 degrees centigrade per decade, which would put a, an overall cooling over the last 40 years of about 0.9 degrees centigrade. Next, let's turn to the Northern Hemisphere sea ice extent for March 2019, and it's recorded as the sixth lowest on record and the 16th consecutive year with a below average sea ice extent. Lastly, let's take a look at the Southern sea ice extent. It was the second lowest on record, and that makes three consecutive years with below normal sea ice extent in the Southern Hemisphere. Let's take a look now at El Nino. It's still operative. Anything with a number, anything with an index above 0.5 is considered El Nino. You can see we're here well above one. The models for the future show that this will continue at least until July and possibly through to the end of the year. Meanwhile, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere have reached their highest level in the last million years and possibly as long as the last 30 million years. We're currently at 411.91 parts per million. Well, let's take a quick look at the US climate report. While the main part of the US has been uh, somewhat below uh, average temperatures with records being set in the states of Washington and Oregon, Alaska has been the other way and setting new record highs uh, with temperatures as much as 16 degrees Fahrenheit above average. As far as precipitation in the US is concerned, we had uh, above average rainfall from the west coast through to the Ohio Valley with record precipitation being set in uh, Utah. Meanwhile, in the northwest and the southeast and up and down the uh, eastern seaboard, we've had below average rainfall. So in summary then, March was the second warmest March on record. We've had 410 consecutive months with temperatures above the 20th century average. That's over 34 years. El Nino is well established and could last through the summer. And 2019 may well become the third or perhaps the fourth warmest year on record based on its performance so far. So until next time, goodbye.